October 10, 2024. Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O foolish Galatians! Who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Let me ask you only this, did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain if indeed it was in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law, or by hearing with faith? The Word of the Lord Responsorial Luke Response Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people. The oath that he swore to our father Abraham, to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited his people. Alleluia Alleluia! Open our hearts, O Lord, that we may pay attention to the words of your Son. Alleluia! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him, and he will answer from within, Do not bother me, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything? I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because of his impudence he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find, knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent, or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Thursday, 27th week in Ordinary Time In this morning's Gospel reading, Jesus encourages us to keep praying the prayer of petition, keep on asking, keep on searching, keep on knocking. Of all the different forms of prayer that are open to us, the prayer of petition is probably the one that comes most easily to us. So often we pray out of our need. We recognize some need, some lack in ourselves that we sense only God can supply and fill. Perhaps we are not always sure, however, what to be praying for, what to be asking for. This morning's Gospel reading comes immediately after the giving of the Lord's Prayer by Jesus to his disciples. That prayer is really a teaching on what we need to be praying for. The Lord's Prayer is a succession of short prayers of petition, with the first three petitions focusing on God, and the last four focusing on ourselves. All of our prayers of petition need to be shaped in some way by the petitions of the Lord's Prayer. In the final verse of this morning's Gospel reading, Jesus suggests something else we need to ask for, search for. We need to keep on praying for the gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives. One of the great prayers of petition for every believer is the simple prayer, Come, Holy Spirit.